guys, it's Marissa Styles bringing you another um, video. It's a drugstore haul. It's all new items in the drugstore. Um, I purchased these items at CVS, Walgreens, Target, and Walmart. So if you guys want to keep on watching, stay tuned. Okay, so the first items we're going to start off is with foundation. These, I purchased them at Walmart. Um, they're the Maybelline uh, Dream Cushion Foundation. You can see it right here. Maybelline Dream Cushion. So this item, I actually tried it on and it was in one of my other videos. So I use the color um, 20 and it has like a little pad in here, but I think I lost a little pad. It's just like a regular cushion foundation. This foundation, I would recommend it for um, people with dry skin. If you're oily, then this is going to be really bad for you because I notice I'm, I'm dry like around my face, but in my T-zone, I'm a little oily. So I did see a lot of oils uh, with this foundation. But other than that, the coverage is really good. I really recommend it if you have dry skin. So the next foundation is the L'Oreal um, the Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. So I picked up three shades from Walmart. Um, I picked up 303, 302, and 306. And I'm actually wearing the foundation today. So um, I will keep you posted and see how I like this foundation. I think it's going to be a good foundation. Um, it's matte foundation. So if you have oily skin, you probably like this. I think it's very like a moussey feeling foundation and you want to be careful with the colors because I picked up a 306 and look at how dark it looks it looks gray I'm the co I'm in the color 303 I could probably be 304 but I just didn't pick that one up the next thing I picked up from L'Oreal are the new infallible lip paints I picked up the color 312 and 314 they're just like some nude colors um, they're really nice um, they have a dofa which is perfect um, the pigmentations there it's like really pigmented so there are like lip glosses but they're lip paints so they're a little bit more intense they're really nice. The next things I picked up from L'Oreal was um, this infallible total coverage. So they have a, a corrector palette. So they have the orange, the yellow, the green, and the purple. I use the LA um, Girl Concealer in Purple just to highlight under my eyes. So I really like that. And then the green is for redness. Yellow is also for like... Um, Tony look different color and then orange also helps under the eyes so I have not tried it yet let's see the coverage oh there's coverage on here so let's, let's see coverage it seems like a promising uh, product so I will let you guys know how I like this if you're looking this is perfect if you're looking for a uh, corrector this is such a cool palette they also came out with the concealer and contour palette. Um, I love cream contour and concealer, so I like to um, contour and then I like to conceal and then they have a little little sponge here that you could probably damp and it'll be good to like contour. So the only thing with this palette is that the contour shade is not that dark, so it's not favorable to darker skin tones. Um, I feel like this is going to be too orange, so it's not going to look good, you know. I feel like this is going to be way too orange. So I definitely probably won't use a contour, I'll probably use a concealer. And then I picked up the cheek, um, the blush palette, the infallible paints. I guess this is a line that they have going on. So I actually did use this color today. I don't think I'm going to be using these two colors. I'm not a big fan of like hot pink. So this is the blush I have on today and it's pretty nice. I like it. And then I picked up one of their Infello Paints liner in white. So I did try this out um, this weekend and I really like it. It's very pigmented. 
of it. So it's, you see, it's like a, this kind of a applicator. So it's really nice to get that like precise wing. So like you could get a precise like wing. You see how pigmented that is? It's insane. So it's gonna be really nice. Next, I picked up the Blend Artist Infallible, the contour blending and uh, sponge. So I guess this is meant for contour. Oh, this is stiff. This is real stiff. So this kind of reminds me of the Real Technique, but if the Real Technique, once you damp it and you damp it pretty good, it's like softens up. So I mean. to give it a try so I'll definitely give this sponge a try they had different ones they had one that was almost similar to the real technique like this like with an angle but I don't know I just this one was cool and the color yellow and I was like oh I need to get that actually I have one more product from L'Oreal it's the infallible paints that eyeshadow so it's a double ended um, it's like I picked up a peachy tone because it just like caught my eye. I don't know how this is gonna like set on my eyes, if it's gonna crease or not. But the colors were like ugh, calling my name. So, but these colors are so nice. As you can see the peachy and the dark. So it's supposed to create like an ombre effect. Kind of like what I have going on here right here in my eyes. So I just decided that this would be such a great tool for maybe like the spring, going into the spring. I just love these colors. These um, go well with my skin tone. So I thought that would be great. Next for Maybelline, um, I think this is a new mascara as well. So I picked up two new mascaras. They had it in their like new section. So I picked up the Push Up Angel Mascara. And I actually tried this on today. Um, I love how it is on my lower eyelashes. Um, on my uh, top eyelashes, it's good, but it only gives me length. It doesn't give me volume. So I really like your eyelashes to like give you more because I have length. I just don't have volume on my eyelashes. So it's this kind of brush, and it's kind of weird. You actually feel it lifting up your eyelashes. You know curl them a little bit and then like lift them with my brush but this one I swear it's just like bam you know it like lifts it up really nice the next mascara um is definitely i didn't take this off the packaging because i already have one and it's like already used um i've been using it for a while like since it barely came out because i was like i gotta order it because everybody was raving about it on youtube so i was just like that has to be mine and I really enjoyed this mascara. It's actually really good. Um, I think it gives me more volume than length. And then uh, on my lower lashes, it kind of give them length, what I like. So I definitely just like this for my um, upper eyelashes. So this is a good one. If you guys haven't checked it out, I bought mine at Walmart. It's super cheap. You know, probably like seven bucks. And then the next um, product that I bought is the lasting drama in um waterproof gel eyeliner so i wore this today in my lower lash line and you can see like it's still black it's never black because my eyes are so water no like one swipe and it was so black and you guys could see how black look at how black that is do you see that's super black so i really like this and it's waterproof so it's not gonna like, you know, leak all over. So that's a good eyeliner. I think it's gonna be a really good eyeliner. And then the next thing that I was like, what? I was like, this is so cool. It's the uh, Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber uh, Volumizer um, in the color Medium Brown. So this is so cool because guys, this is like, I feel like this has like little fibers but it has like little fibers. I was just like, whoa. I was just like amazed. Like, oh my God. I was just like, I put this on my eyebrows and it's just like, 
damn they look super nice and flaky like i really enjoyed this today i really this is the first time I'm, i wore it so i'll guys i'll keep you guys updated on this and then the next thing is i didn't use this today it's the brow precise the perfecting highlighter so this would you would use underneath the brows to clean it up um it's just a case concealer so um definitely want to try this out to clean out my eyes and then the next thing i got i got this uh, milani make it last setting spray it's a prime corrector and sets it's a 16 hour wear supposedly and i did try this today mm, i really enjoyed this I got these butter uh, blushes from Physician Formulas, and let me tell you guys, I really enjoyed um, the butter bronzer from Physician Formulas. It's my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. I think it's my favorite bronzer, period. Um, but I heard Kathleen Lights raving about this, and I was like, I have to get this. If the bronzer is so good, I just have to get this. And this seems like it'll suit my skin tone because I'm more fair. Um, so they seem like natural blushes that I would totally wear so I'm excited to try those now for the next thing thing I'm really excited about is these are Dell Fox mink eyelashes so they have an invisible band which I love because I don't like wearing eyeliner all the time you know so I've been wearing these 812s um, they're like super cute and then these are more dramatic. These are 811s. These are really cute too. And then I also have these um, 810s that are really nice that I can't wear, wait to wear these. So they have an invisible band and I'm just so excited about them. And for the last thing I have is these Wet n Wild nail polishes. It's a one step wonder gel. So I have the color all that jazzy and under my plum <laughs> so it's so cool I love this plum color for like the winter and obviously you know you want to bedazzle your nails a little so this is it um this is all I purchased from the drugstore make sure you comment down below and tell me what's new in the drugstore besides this or what have you been loving if you got any of these products and make sure you follow me on Instagram on snapchat um, on Facebook and on Twitter and I will link them all down below so make sure you subscribe to all of those and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more videos so I will see you guys later um, thank you so much for watching and bye